Well, um, my first reaction is to say that um, Kosovo Akpaibio and his group they are confused, it's a confused set of people. Um, he who alleges must prove. I challenge them to prove that I am a director or a shareholder in any of these companies. And um, if you recall, when the, they started, they said I had 1,000 jobs. Now, later they came down now to 350, now it's 53. So they are, you can see they are confused people. My only reaction to them is to challenge them to show by any means that I'm a contract, I'm a director, a shareholder in any of these companies. Uh, it, the fact that jobs are, um, are done in my constituency does not mean that I'm the owner. There are many contractors, many businessmen in my constituency, and they can go to Port Harcourt like any other Nigerian. As long as they pay their taxes and they meet all the constitutional requirements to get a job, they can get it. So he's just, he's just trying to hang on a, a straw because um, the corruption, the amount of corruption in NDDC is so much. And what they have done there in the last three months or four months is to rip the people. And uh, you can understand why God will Akpavio is finding it difficult to uh, operate with me. First, we, myself and my colleague in the House of Representatives, um, made the National Assembly to know that there was recklessness in the, in the NDDC. And we had to make sure that the proper motion for the probe, which is going, which, which, which is, has been concluded in the Senate and which is yet to be concluded in the House of Representatives, but almost concluded, that there was a lot of massive corruption there. And then he cannot understand why we should lead such a crusade to free our people. Secondly, we resisted God with Akpabio when he wanted two of us. He, he wanted us to, um, to allow them to change the dollars that they have in the, in the NDDC, about $110 million that they wanted to change. God with Akpabio approached me and my colleague in the House of Rep and wanted us to approve, to support the change of the $110 million into Naira. Um, I re we resisted it. The former MD, the Mrs. Akwanga is a witness. Mrs. Nume, um, Dr. Mrs. Nume is a witness. We resisted, we said, no, this money belongs to the people. Let us understand what he want to use this, this thing for. His own was to use it for water high sand, the silting, and all those type of things. And we said, no, you can't. You can't do it. We will not allow you to do that. And he made a lot of offers to two of us. I'm happy that my colleague is there to give you an egg to tell you, to support what I'm saying. So he cannot understand because he believed that all the things he did in Akwaibo, where he was a, a lord, he was going to repeat it in the end of this. And we're not going to say, we said, no, we're not going to do that here. We have, we have the report of the Senate. What I'm lifting is, the, what I have given to you is from the report of one, the Accountant General of the Federation, two, from the BPP, Three, from their performance report that they submitted to the Senate. I have not said anything outside the document that I would be for me. These are the documents. Everything I said there is from the Accountant General's Office, the BPP report, their performance of the, their own performance, the uh, 2020, 2019 performance report. That is where I lifted everything. And these things are contained in the Senate report. The fact that the Senate took certain area, if you watch part of the Senate report, it is not only the 4.9 billion that we said they are going to refund. We said after that one, and all other monies, and if you tabulate all the other monies there, it is going to about 8 point something billion or more than that. So it is not that I am saying, these are facts, documented facts, supported. It's not, it's not Peter, it's not me that is saying that. No. All he's doing is to divert attention from the 1981 billion uh, sneeze that they are what has we are word of contract the president has ordered a forensic audit you say you are supporting a forensic audit the forensic audit will show the job that are done and not done the forensic audit will know what 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 has what has gone wrong over the period that is not the issue now the issue before the nigerian people now and what we're looking at where is the 81 point something billion which was spent within three months or four months that's the issue Contracted, the contracts were awarded over a long period of time in 2016, 2017, 2000, that is not the issue. That is, those issues will be, solved, will be brought to by the, by the forensic auditor. That is why we have a forensic audit. 
So diverting attention that this did not happen. Did he tell people that he collected, they, they collected 35, 35, uh, 39.6 uh, uh, billion for, for his, for 35.9 uh, billion for his press lobby uh, to launder his image in the press from NDDC pawns? It's not that I said. It's in the document, their own. Their own performance report. 35.9 million was taken to launder the image of the Minister for Niger Delta. It's not me that said it is the NDDC. That says so. There is not the, the, the people. The man, mean, the president meant well. He wants them to. He has, he, they have a mandate. They have failed, woefully. And of course, as a lawyer, there is no provision for interim management in the in the NDDC Act. I'm a lawyer, and of over 30 years, so I understand what I'm talking about. In all over the world, the proper procedures for a, constitu a constituted board will super superintend. A forensic audit. That is the that is the, the that is the practice all over the world. Not the, the properly constituted body that has been let them come and superintend over. The, if you find out or that any of them is corrupt or do not have the character or integrity, you sack him and bring people who have this thing. But to bring uh, a three man, a, a, a group of guy, people you have brought in and you have seen that they are, they can't even do the work, all the good intention will be nothing. So bring him and also, what is the essence? The people of Niger Delta didn't want some of these bureaucratic nature issues. And that is why they pushed the NDDC to the presidency. It is the wish. This is the first act of parliament where the National Assembly had to override the president when the president refused to assent to the, to the NDDC Act. The National Assembly, the good people of Nigeria, that is what the National Assembly, the group from there said no. And they, they had to override the president. And in overriding the president, they knew, the Nigerian people knew where they said, take this into the presidency. This is the of the people. It was not that one man assented to it. was a, they assent, The people who assented to that, that bill are the people of Nigeria. And so the president should do us the favor to listen to the people of Nigeria who are sent by saying, take this thing to the president, let it be under your supervision as the president of Nigeria, because that area is a volatile area, and that is where the gold eggs is being laid. So take it back to them, remove the interim manager, bring a properly constituted board. If you doubt the integrity of any member of the board, remove him. But not to bring other one man who feels that he is um, he destroyed the area like a colossus. So as we speak, you are currently trending on all to? to Nigerians. Well, we hope, and sincerely hope, that our president will listen to what we are saying to save this Nigerian people and the people of Niger Delta from this rascality and recklessness going around in NDDC.